to change some more footage. We've got all our billets here. Now we are using our landlord's machines to do these because it's quicker. I'm currently on the lookout for this sort of lathe myself. I've just got to wait for saying to come up for sort of decent money, but here's the second size part again with that profile machined all the way around and then we've got a millet just so it's going to leave them two stubs on these are ever so slightly different from the other ones so here's our billets hydraulic chuck then we've got our tools so we come in roughing tool face off then we come in 40 mil diameter drill, indexable U-drill, straight through the part in one hit, and then it goes to outside roughing, inside boring. This one's got an inside groove, you can see that part there, I just have to break that off and deburr it, but you see it's got the groove stepped into it on the rear there. So yeah, you're not gonna see much probably because of the coolant, but we'll see what we can do. Facing off, coolant's getting everywhere, 40 mil diameter drill, plunges straight in. Unfortunately, now's where you lose your view. Anyway, so that's their parts. We've got about another 50 odd. So here's our part finished. Can't see a lot through the screen because it gets covered in coolant. But there it is done. Curls from the 40 mil drill, but there's the bar. Nice finish there. What we do is we leave it on here because when it's if you've got collet chucking it parts off, it tends to drop on this three jaw, it tends to whack around and the jaws can hit the part. So we had a couple where it, it dinged the profile and then made them scrap. Right. This one here, you can see hit there quite bad and then there really bad so that's scrap whereas leaving it on there a little bit it's going to be awkward now because I need to kind of need to put you down to show you what I'm doing see if I knock it off without damaging it there you go we just get it so it's barely hanging on and then it leaves that sharp bit there on the table roll it around, that crushes it in and then we just get a pair of pliers on that a pair of pliers, break it off and then we just go around with the deburring tool on that edge yeah, another one done Get in. Next thing I'm making is out of these blocks, turn these all down out of a bit solid part. And this is what we're making. So it ends up this fine one that I've deburred. I don't know if I've actually deburred any of these to be fair. But this is our million. So it's got a relief cut in there. 3.1mm deep, 23mm wide, and then two M5 tapped holes all the way through. Got that set up on the mill. Here's them blocks, D-Bird. Hydraulic device. if we can get you a bit of a view there it's 
three and a half mil straight off the top. And then we're at 12 mil end mil, come down and put the 3.1 mil deep relief through the center. And then we come in with a stub drill. 4.3 mil stub drill. Straight in. And then last part of the op, M5 tap, all the way through. We are done. There you have it. Got to deeper these edges. Get them clean up, and that's done. Now we just got two hundred of them to do. So yeah, quite lucky to be able to use these machines in the landlord's shop. But we're looking for our own. And we can do this milling cycle. We can actually do these on my machine. But while I'm working that one, I can also work this one at the same time. So yeah, keep you updated. I'll show you when we've got a batch of them done. Cheers for watching.